I'll start out with this is for the idiots who don't believe that I received the text from Shit Happens on the 18th of October. Today's the 19th when I'm recording this. I don't know when I'll throw it up there. Uh, but this popped up on my cell phone uh, yesterday, the 18th, uh, and I thought, what? Coded? Code, co this looks like a coded thing. Uh, why is coded texting me? I looked a little closer. Boys and girls, this is why you don't give your phone number to YouTube people. Because some of them out there are just drama queen idiot little girls pains in the asses. This is what it was. That's right. It shit happens. <laughs> shit happens. Saw a video the night before of carte blanche asking me to tell about the time when she texted me multiple times uh, to join her discussions. Uh, after me telling her multiple times, <laughs> I'm working. I'm busy. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, this this is uh, so. What could I do? Because it's the text right before back July twentieth. So I just screenshotted that discussion and sent it to her. Yeah, no, July twentieth was a long time ago in YouTube land. I hadn't really thought about it much lately. Uh, but Cart asked me two nights ago, and Shiz asked me to prove it, and weirdly. Uh, the text she sent me was the very next text after she had, <laughs> after July 20th. There's been no communication between me and her uh, since July 20th. <laughs> and, uh, and and then she says, I asked you to come once when I was reviewing a video of you. Is me repeatedly ring Once. She, she, she either has a bad memory or she's in complete denial. But it's right there in the screenshots on my screen phone still today. Uh, <laughs> I apologize that one time I texted you, and one time, uh, she says, get a life, <laughs> just go away. Well, uh, yesterday I got in the car and I'm driving around and I'm thinking, let's commentate on this. And then I thought, let's post it up as a premiere uh, so that you can see what stupid people are going to say stupid things. So. Today, I'm not going to talk so much about shiz. I'm going to talk about the commentary on yesterday's video. All right, stupid humans, YouTube personality gives us three waves. Waving back at you, stupid humans. Uh, Joey Simpson said, sup, Finkster? I'm up. I'm wide awake. And sup, T. I don't know who T is. I don't see anyone named T in there. Uh, maybe didn't catch him. Uh, single mom, thoughts on the chicken Big Mac? Yes, we are right on topic here. Uh, uh, Joe, I have yet to try it. I hope they use the McChicken patties. I love McChickens. I'm not familiar with these products. Okay, Stupid Humans. Uh, sounds like an abomination of a burger. Uh, would that be a burger or would that be a chicken sandwich? Uh, Joey says, I've heard good things about it. And Single Mom replies, sounds like a McDonald's audit is in order. Well, that's some of the things I do. I uh, it's not really an audit. I go around with a camera and I see people at places like McDonald's react to the camera. <laughs> silly people. Silly people who are almost as silly as the some of the people I'm going to bring out. Uh, so far, no real silliness. Uh, Joey Simpson says possibly. And Ben says, shiz is nuts. She thinks the control, she thinks she controls everyone. X camp Kaiser weirdo. Uh, X Camp Kaiser. I didn't know she was X Camp Kaiser. That is interesting. Is that true? Um, she knows a little bit more about Kaiser than a lot of people. Quite possibly so. There's been rumors about her and Kaiser flirting with each other somewhere in the past. I don't know. Uh, just what I've been told. Howard Downing says, Stupid humans has it. Abomination. That's uh, he's still talking about the uh, chicken sandwich from McDonald's. And Bandit says, "Be careful of her delusion." Okay, we're back on topic of shit happens. Be careful of her delusional uh, team that makes shit up about people. Crazy. Yes, sir, Bandit, and that's what we're about to see. Okay, scrolling through it. Ah, uh, and stupid human says, "Laugh out loud." Thank you. I think she's talking. Up, they're talking about the chicken sandwiches. And Joey says, I'd love to have an eight-hour shift. I uh, think he's at the point, according to the timestamp, yes, uh, 1921, 19 minutes, 21. 
he's at the point where I'm explaining how I have a ten and a half hour shift on a normal shift. And on that particular night, July 20th, I had a double shift. Oh, and Joey Sense from DAC has a ten and a half hour shift too. Uh, and then he says, I love the overtime. Ka-ching, motherfucker, ka-ching. Lots of overtime, and I really don't do a lot. All right, fact the man is ways in. Do you have to pay to do Discord? Hmm, I don't know. I've only peeked inside Discord once, and I did it the sneaky way. I had some uh, uh, IT folks, some security folks help me with that because I was afraid, uh, I was afraid that Shiz would see that I'm seeing what she's uh, showing people, and I, I was just curious. Uh, and that's how I found out it was a trap. It was to secure the Star Wars scene. It's a trap. Uh, all right, and Joey Simpson says, JJ seems to think so. Uh, oh, yeah, no, it's not free. And Stephanie Jenks says, damn, Joey Simpson, Jesus loves a working man. <laughs> yes, uh, I guess I guess working 10 and a half hour shifts is the definition of working man, even though I sleep more than I work. Don't tell my boss. All right, man, it says she's no journalist. Well, that's how she identifies. And she does observe, monitor, and report. Does she do so accurately? Uh, yeah, it's starting to question this. Uh, but uh, yeah, journalists is kind of... Uh, yeah, yeah, let's move on. Guadalupe guacamole. Hold up right there. And that is the kind of troll I was fishing for by putting it on a premiere and going about my business. I had, I had to wait oh, the better part of the day, day and a half, to see the premiere. Guadalupe guacamole. Uh, she chooses the, uh, the avocado thing because she thinks it means I'm the good kind of fat. No, you're silly, you're annoying, and you're chubby. Shut the fuck up. No, wait, don't shut the fuck up. Let me read your shit because you're one of the reasons why I put this up where people could comment live. <laughs> and it does give us a great laugh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That, 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 that was mean. That, that was mean. I should not fat shame chubby little girls. Okay. Uh, Guadalupe Guacamole says, Imagine driving around ranting about strangers on YouTube like it's normal. Wow. Well, no, it's not normal. It's pretty fucking weird. <laughs> uh, but, you know... No more weird than sitting in your basements and your living rooms and your offices and streaming somebody else's work and ranting about people they've never met for two, three, four, six hours. That's weird, man. Hey, let's save some time and do it while we're driving from A to B. Uh, yeah, I admit it. I uh, got long-winded, so I drove around to C, D, E, and F, but that's okay. Uh... It only took me an hour and 20 minutes to drive. <laughs> In which the course of things, I got part of my route done. And it only took me another 20 minutes to throw it up there and set uh, the uh, the cage for you uh, squirrels to run in chasing the nuts. Uh, I guess that makes me the nut. Okay, yes, uh, that's, that's really weird. Ranting about Stranger on YouTube, I agree. Guacamole, it, it is weird. Right, Jeffrey? It's weird. Right, shit happens? It's weird. Right, Jenny Specific? It's weird. Right, Michael Kaiser? It, that's what fucking people do in Jeffrey's little corner of YouTube. We make fun of strangers on YouTube. Hell, we'll go on for hours and hours about a guy sitting on his toilet. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I agree. It was stupid, but yeah, I get over it. Bandit says... Is that what you're doing, Stupe? Uh, uh, well, no. Uh, Stupe doesn't sit around ranting about strangers on you. Actually, she does. Yeah, well, she's doing it right here, right? But she does it differently. She's, you don't hear her voice. You don't see her ugly face. Uh, you just see her text. Okay, Howard Dowling says, Psst, want to buy some meth? Uh, nope, nope, thank you. Uh, Good on the myth. Uh, good afternoon, folks, says Dirt Guy. I think it's time to scroll up. What do you guys think? And scrolled up the Dirt Guy comment. That, oh, there's another avocado. That money you spent pissed you off and got you bitter. It's sad to see. Let me see. That's a t Okay. Oh, she's talking about the super chats that I freely and willingly gave. And I give no more. Who's pissed off about me not doing it anymore? Who 
was happy to do it when he did it. Okay, there's another misjudgment by another internet avocado-shaped troll. Uh, first taste free. Oh, I hope you're not eating that avocado, Howard. Uh, and then Lupe goes in, the nervous laughter is telling. Let me see. I'm driving around. I'm talking to nobody unless later on I decide to edit it or just post it or decide not to post it. Uh, you think I'm nervous? Another dumb call by another fat bitch. Okay. Uh, drama. Stupid humans. Laugh out loud drama. <laughs> yeah. That's what all this is in response to. The drama queens. All right. Uh, Bandit 2804. Team shits. Knows everything about psychology because they themselves are wackos. Bandit, I cannot disagree with you. Ah, I, I, I'm trying, but I just cannot. Uh, shits happens uh, quite commonly has this uh, guy who's got an education in geophysics and he thinks he's a psychologist. He thinks he's a, a, a Dr. Phil with an accent. He's a fucking moron. And then Bennett weighs in, get real stupid, you're a dummy, quit pretending like you're hero PhD phony. And that's who I was just talking about, PhD phony, moron. Howard Sterling, love me some dick pics. Volume 9 is a good one. All right, I guess that's when uh, we were talking about... Uh, the dick pics that Shiz Happens tried to warn me about. She was so desperate to warn me about dick pics, which I don't talk about unless I'm responding to something else about them. Uh, but, yeah, okay. Uh, Guacalope, Guapai, what, the moron. <laughs> What's her name? Hello, nurse. Uh, no one talks about Jerry's dick more than you, Fink. Ah, uh, that's not true. Take a look in Discord. <laughs> uh, uh, hell, uh, I believe uh, Jeffrey has a little uh, purple chicken that flops around. He brings that up quite often. But okay, I, I, yeah, right. And stupid humans, K, Carlos La Boca, uh, no habla español. Uh, I'm going to move on. Uh, M the Fat Avocado says, No one has talked about Jerry in months, but you think it's funny. Guess what? I don't watch hours and hours and hours of Jeffrey and Josh and those clowns that over at F3. Uh, I don't watch uh, Shiz Happens, but if I'm scanning through the YouTube and I just click on any one of those for three to five minutes, you're going to hear about Jerry's dick pic or you're going to see some reference to it. Uh, yeah, I, I was over it when it happens. <laughs> Y'all should get over it, too. No, wait, wait, you can't get over it because that's what you thrive on. Uh, and then Chino Nino says, Fink is upset. He's the only one that hasn't seen the floppy bird pick. What a flex, Chino Nino. Brag that you got to see the floppy bird pick. You, I mean, if, if you're talking about Jeffrey's... Uh, uh, cartoon of the chicken flopping uh, everyone's seen that if you're talking about Jerry's penis that is an awesome flex you enjoy looking at Jerry's penis good for you Chino Nino moving on time to scroll all right now that Chino Nino has showed his pride and staring at the penis picture over and over and over again let's move on to another Lupe crack up uh, Fink travels in the left lane what a Karen Ah, uh, see, that's what I love about these trolls. They see something for a split second and they pass judgment. First, let me tell you what she's talking about at this particular timestamp, and then let me tell you who she agrees with. Uh, first of all, we drive in the left lane here when we are passing or when we're preparing to turn left. Right there in front of Fort Belvoir, when I moved into the left lane, I was getting ready, one, to avoid the exit to the gate, and two, to turn left onto Jeff Todd Highway. But I love how you guys pass stupid judgment and show yourselves uh, while it's in progress. If you watch just a few more seconds, you saw me make a left turn, and you watched me uh, make a comment about, I'm on Jeff Todd uh, 
uh, highway or lane or whatever it's called. And I found that amusing because part of my topics that day were Jeffrey of F3 and Todd of Generally Specific, who Guadalupe seems to really <laughs> dig. Uh, just yesterday, I was flicking around YouTube, and in a moment, I heard someone else say, Raise your hand if you, too, hate people who drive in the left lane. Yes, that was generally specific. Congratulations, Lupe. You are on the same wavelength as generally specific. He was showing a video of for public safety also driving somewhere and awful also momentarily in the left lane. By the way, when you have a four lane or a six lane highway, there are two, three lanes going each way. There's a reason there's two or three lanes because you have options. You can pass, you can prepare to make a left turn, and, um, well, fuck, if you're at or above the speed limit, which I was, <laughs> uh, who gives a fuck? Uh, if you're in the left lane behind somebody who's dragging you down at 10 miles an hour over the speed limit, you're the impatient Karen. Get the fuck over it, slow down. Okay, uh, that was Dirt Guy. Yeah, grift happens. Oh, shit, sh I like that. Grift happens. We'll make a mountain out of a molehill. Yes, oh, apparently at 9.35 in the morning on a Friday, she got all bent out of shape because somebody else asked me a question. Uh, a molehill, if she thinks she can get money out of it, abso fucking lutely. She will show something as members only, not making members only, and idiots like Josh... We'll buy a membership. Two things about that. Why didn't he already have a membership? And two, <laughs> sucker, it was free. Okay, uh, drift happens. Oh, we, we have a, we have, okay, good, thumbs up. Well, okay, stupid humans. Uh, uh, oh, she's quoting the oath of enlistment. And Lupe, thank God he switched lanes. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I, I don't permanently drive in the left lane yet. Dummy. All right, and Chino Nino, the one who loves Jerry's dick pics, the one who will brag that he's seen Jerry's dick pic, and anyone who hasn't must be sad because he didn't see something as wonderful as what Chino Nino has said. Uh, now he's going to say, imagine having such a boring life, you drive around aimlessly talking about shit that has happened months ago, it is forgotten about by everyone but you. Scroll back to the beginning of this. I hadn't thought about shit happens bugging me about joining her conversation on July 20th until October 18th when she said, prove it! <laughs> ah, you guys just, you're so entertaining. Stupid human, it's some people's dream. Maybe this is his and you live a shit life. Uh, uh, my dream is not driving. I did recently drive to New York State. I drove around up in New York State, and I recently drove back. And quite frankly, I'm not a fan of driving. I'd rather not drive. But when I'm going A to B, and I have something on my mind, I start talking. And just like you drama queens, sometimes it's hard to stop talking once you get started. I'm already over the time I intended to be. I might make this a premiere, too. Uh, yes, I am going to scroll now. Let's scroll. And that stupid human says, maybe think on that. Hmm. Okay, I thought about it. I don't like driving. <laughs> but Chino Neal seems to think that uh, I like driving. <laughs> okay, and then uh, there she is again. You, you just can't quit me, can you, Lupe? You just can't quit me. Uh, oh, wait, wait. Maybe think. Okay, uh, Guadalupe, if your life dream is driving around complaining, sink mental help seek mental help okay yeah an hour 20 minutes of driving <laughs> really <laughs> shall we compare to a six hour generally specific video where all he does is complain or how about a six hour jeffrey video g boys where all they do is complain yeah they pretend like they're laughing but jeffrey doesn't laugh he squeaks <laughs> And talk about nervous laugh. That, that's a fucking nervous laugh. Uh, okay, uh, calm down. Oh, wait a minute. Where are we? Uh, it seems like you got no... It seems like a... 
I can't read that. Not a, oh, that seems like a you problem, not a his problem. I don't have a problem. <laughs> I was topping off gas. I'm thinking about the text I had just received that I hadn't thought about in three months. And I'm like, hey, I got a dash cam. Let's talk about it. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't upload it. I did. And now uh, whom is being told to calm down by uh, <laughs> Miss uh, Guacamole? <laughs> Uh, Cope Harder. Oh, yeah. When they run out of things to say, they go with these catchphrases. Cope Harder? Is that how you cope? Yeah, okay, shut up. Okay, stupid human. Child, please. Go take a nap. Yeah, Lupe, it is past your nap time. And Lupe comes back with, have a cookie, sweetie. You'll be okay. All right. I really don't think Lupe cares if anyone's okay. She once made fun of a dead man. Uh, made fun of a widow because she was burying her husband. That's Lupe for you. That's a class act. That's one one classy bitch there. Okay, Stupe, you have proved yourself as a psychopath. That's an insult to psychopaths, Bandit. But okay, uh, but can't possibly evaluate anyone, creep. Yeah. She evaluates like the rest of these clowns, these, these Jeffreys, these shits happens, these general specifics, who are all on the same level. Uh, the only one that stands out is the one that Josh says has bigger balls. Because he murdered somebody. Can you imagine that? Josh bragged that someone has bigger balls because he murdered somebody. And Chino Nino, the dick pic lover, uh, says, Watch it, Lupe. You wouldn't like whom when it's angry. Uh, yeah, all right. <laughs> all right, these guys are clowns. And when I chuckle, it's not a nervous laugh. It's It's... Because I find you hilarious. All right, let's stop and scroll. All right, all right, all right. Put a one in the chat if you think I've had too much coffee. No, I haven't. Okay, let's have some more coffee and read on. Stupid Human says, you first, little one. And Vegas Phipps comes in with, cookies are disgusting. Just drink water. Well... If the cookies are coming from Lupe, they're pretty fucking disgusting. You're right about that, Vegas Phipps. That's twice in two days you were right. Uh, Lupe, have a good nap, whom? Oh, wow, just, come on. Come up with some new material. And Chino Nino says, I don't know what the fuck that says. Detente? That must be some fern language. He's a ferner. And Lupe comes back with, this seems like a butt hurt stream but okay, rage on faint. Yes, I am raging. Um, Y'all know I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I am making fun of you. I am making fun of shit happens. I am making fun of Jeffrey. I'm doing what you guys do around the clock. I'm doing it for an hour and 20 minutes yesterday and I'm doing it for 25 minutes so far today. Maybe I'll go on. Uh, this is a premiere. Uh, oh, right, right. Uh, Lupe thought this was a live stream and that I was reading live. Uh, sorry, Lupe. I had to wait for the chat to propagate before I could read any of your chats. It was a premiere. Do you know what a premiere is? Ask Jeffrey. He knows all about YouTube. And Lupe comes back with uh, the palpable rage premiere. Uh, okay, Bennett. You're just ranting and raving, Stupe. Uh, Stupe is just being goofy. She's a dork. She's a goof. And Stupid says, night, night. And Stupid Human says, gaslight harder there. Uh, and Joey Simpson says, VIP Panama. VI Panama. I don't get it. <laughs> and Lupe says, tots and pears for Todd. Uh, oh, yeah, she is a big fan of Todd's. And Lupe comes back with, you think Jerry sent Jeff? Yeah, uh, that's how it happened. Uh, Jeffrey had a going nowhere channel, and uh, Jerry had a going a little bit somewhere channel. He was actually able to monetize Jerry. Uh, Jeffrey wasn't, and Jeffrey joined up with Jerry, and Jeffrey uh, Jerry said, hey, look, at Stone Vet. We're all kind of joining up over there. And yes, that's how Jeffrey got to Stone Vet. Through Jerry. You know it. I know it. The whole fucking world knows it. You can even look at the old channels. The Jeffrey, the uh, 
what was it, Never Too Soon or whatever the fuck he called himself. Oh, wait, Article 1, fives and some. Back when he was crying, the Kaiser stole my story. <laughs> you know, the guy that never talks about his military career. Kaiser stole my story. But I don't talk about my military career. Uh, but my, my brand, Braun Star, has... Uh, uh, the best line ever, or I, I, my my ARCOM has a better line than yours, and uh, shut the fuck up. It, either you admit that you brag about your military service, or stop bragging about your military service. Because, motherfucker, you brag about your military service. Um, and, stupe, you sure are stupid. Again, Bandit, I, I agree 100%. It's time to scroll again. And then Vegas says, yes! I don't know what Vegas is talking about. And Lupe says something that makes no sense at all. And Stupid Human says, you are a tool. You are a tool, Bandit. And uh, Bandit says, sure. Thumbs up, coward. Keep hiding. Uh, stupid Human says, who and what the, huh? Uh, I'm with you, Stupid. I, I've lost track of what the hell's going on. And Guaca Lupe Guacamole says, fact of life, like diabetes. There we go, laughing my ass off at diabetes. That's a nurse, ladies and gentlemen. That is a nurse. Let's not get sick, boys and girls. Uh, Josh was drunk as fuck again. For fuck's sake, you think? Thinking on his chin. I would learn from his mistakes. Drunk loser. Ah, yeah, let's calm down a minute. Uh, this is... Um, I think this is the discussion that uh, Muxer alerted me to yesterday. Uh, Josh, in all his drunkenness, uh, complimented Mikey murdering Kaiser for having big balls to murder somebody. Fucking A. And Guadalupe Guacamole says, Yay for mental help for Fink. Uh, yeah, I... I, 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 I've had, I've got PTSD, I'm a recovering alcoholic, and I've gotten help, and that's what I am saying these other dipshits need, is help. You need help. It's not something to be ashamed of, but yay, yay guacalope guacalope, however the fuck you pronounce your name, uh, the fat chick, yay for mental health, uh, yes, all right, Vegas Phipps says, yeah, bandit, Stone Vet said some horrific things about Donald Atwater Cameron Jr. death. He sure is fuck dead. Uh, we're all like shrugging, uh, doing the, the Polish salute. Uh, what the fuck? All right, Vegas Phipps says he said that Wrangler had balls for pulling the trigger on DAC. Don't believe me? I have the clip, and D indeed has a clip. Don't bother saying clip it, play the clip, because he has a clip. We've all seen it. And a lot of you Josh fans and Jeffrey friends did not call Josh out on it. Shame the fuck on you. And scrolling along and running out of caffeine, and I think we're running out of chat here. Uh, Vegas Phipps, don't believe me, I have the clip. Oh yeah, we already covered that. And Joey Simpson, DAC, says, Vips, I watched that and I think you might have took that out of context. Fuck context. We saw it. He said it. He was drunk. He probably didn't mean it, but he needs help for his drinking. All right. Yeah, Vips, uh, that was sick. Correct, Bandit? It was sick. Whether he meant it or not, it was sick. Uh, but thumbs down, he has apologized for his drunk behavior. Weak. Yeah, uh, Kaiser apparently apologized for his stolen valor. And we all said, weak. Uh, you don't apologize for drunk behavior until you stop exercising drunk behavior. And the way you stop exercising drunk behavior is if you're an alcoholic is stop drinking, get help. And Lupe, not the gotcha, but you run with it, Vippy. It will make you feel better. Now, actually, it all made us all feel like shit. Well, those of us who aren't into the drama for humor, such as crackpot nurses, um, Vegas Phipps says, how is it out of context? Wrangler had the balls to pull the trigger. Why would he praise Wrangler for anything? That is true. If Wrangler won a million dollar lottery and gave it all to charity, Wrangler is still not praiseworthy. That is a fact. Thank you, Vips. Sometimes you say wise things. 
Not often. Sometimes you do. Uh, Savagery eludes Scott. Yeah. Savage. Yeah. We don't get savagery, Lupe. We're not savage people. Some of us are high intelligent. Some of us are low intelligent. But we're not savages. So clean up the drunk act. Chino Nino, of course Vips is going to take it out of context. No, the motherfucker said it. There is no correct context for that. Wrangler had the ball. At least Wrangler had the ball. Shut the fuck up. He still butt hurt getting booted by Todd. Uh, didn't give him a spot with F3. Todd has no power to give Vegas Vips a spot with F3. Shut the fuck up, you moron. Joey Simpson, DAC, says... It wasn't praise on Kaiser. Uh, yeah, it was. It was a comparison. And by in comparison, Kaiser was more of a man than than uh, Vegas Phipps, uh, according to the drunk. Uh, but he was, I think, dunking on Todd. No, 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 that, that wasn't a dunk on Todd. He was talking to Vegas Phipps about Michael Kaiser. Not dunking on Todd. Maybe a few minutes before, maybe a few minutes after, but not in the context of that comment. Or you but he was mentioning kaiser's having the balls to do that to emphasize your todd not doing something that's a pretty fucking stupid way to emphasize it you're saying somebody is better because he did something more evil Ugh, come on joey do better and lupe once again she just can't shut up he thinks killing is an og uh, original gangster is that what you youtube freaks call it uh, I don't know if you're talking about Josh. Apparently, that's what he thinks. Um, nah. Okay, Vegas Vips. Uh, damn, this is a good premiere. Actually, the premiere kind of sucks. What makes it entertaining is the chat. And that's why I made it a premiere, so I could have fun today reading these goofy-ass comments by people like Lupe and Chino Nino. Uh, by the way, speaking of Lupe, she says this is top-tier corporate parking lot scenery. Who gives a fuck? It's not about the scenery. I'm driving around aimlessly, and I'm talking. Listen to the words coming out of my mouth. No? Okay, let's move on. Let's scroll up. Okay, where were we? Oh, yeah, Lupe was commenting on what's going on outside the car, not what's going on inside the car. And Bandit says, duh. Change the channels, stupid. If you don't like it, dummy. That's the problem, Bandit. She loves it. She loves when people point out people's mistakes, people's errors, people uh, low caliber intelligence, blah, blah, blah. She's addicted to it. Uh, off to the industrial area we go. Let me think about the drive yesterday. I, went, uh, da, 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 da. Uh, I didn't really go into an industrial area, but okay. Uh, has nothing to do with anything. Joey Simpson, I was hoping for more bridges. I dig bridges. All right, Joey, next time I'll try to do bridges. The Wilson Bridge? How about that? All right. And Guadalupe Guacamole says lots of cul-de-sacs instead, uh, instead, Willard? <laughs> How the fuck are you talking about? Uh, cul-de-sacs. Uh, I drove through neighborhoods. I drove through backsides of shopping centers. I got Richmond Highway. Uh, okay. She just likes sex. She's addicted to sex. Okay. Uh... You see, he's driving in a big circle or some shit. <laughs> Congratulations! Uh, y yes, uh, after I realized that I'd gotten to my destination, I still had a long ways to talk about, I did driving around in a big circle. You are not geographically embarrassed. Good for you. Land navigation, go at this station. Guadalupe, definitely some shit. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, Lupe, there, but Michael Wyatt's fiance. Abdu Wyatt. <laughs> Hello, Booby. I don't know who Booby is, but that's that's quite a name. Michael Wyatt is the guy who videoed himself sitting on a toilet, and he dropped his phone, and for a split second, you could tell he was on a toilet, and there's a three-hour show on Shiz Happens about it, and there's about three or four hours in various shows on Jeffrey's show. They are just obsessed with the point of the camera pointing at the bare skin touching the toilet. 
it is amazing what entertains people and for how long it does entertain them. Hey, but I react to something three, uh, I react to something, it's, it's a reaction to three months old, and I talk about it, and you say, I can't get over it. Get over the guy on the shitter. Okay, guacamole, Fink doesn't get the troll of members only roulette laughing my ass out for a thing. Yeah, I get trolling. I troll Todd. Uh, you troll everybody. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, ben says, we throw off the bus, Stupe. We throw you off the bus, Stupe. It would take six of us to <laughs> roll your butt. You'd be, <laughs> that's not nice. That's not nice. That's not nice. All right. Uh, and Lupe says, spoiler alert, your content either way. I think she's talking to me. And yes, I probably am content on the 19th or 20th of October. Uh, but once they realize how stupid I made them look, they'll shut the fuck up again like they have for the last six or eight weeks. Uh, they only mention me in passing. Their content is Todd's content or Kaiser's content or, or somebody else's content. And when it's Todd or Kaiser, their content is actually the content that Todd or Kaiser stole. That's their content. Uh, Finkel is not their content because they fucking know better. They know every time they try to go at it with me, they get embarrassed. Scrolling along. And Lupe says... Lover? It was on Vegas Vips community post. Laughing my ass off. Uh, adorable. No, no. You know that you've been on again, off again, infatuated and disgusted by Vegas Vips. You've, uh, you've been sniffing his asshole for at least a year, probably longer. You guys have been doing this much longer. And by this, I mean playing these silly games on live streams, etc. Um, yeah, uh, Fink is such a noob, he doesn't know Nathaniel. Nathaniel, nasty Nathan. Thank you. I, I couldn't remember that name. Uh, she, she's talking about, uh, according to that time, she's talking about Vegas Phipps' picture that I, uh, I set out a bounty for, and Shiz Happens picked it up almost immediately. Uh, and she claimed her prize and a 20% tip. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm a new because I forgot someone's name. All right, Lupe, laughing my ass off, you got mad the offer was claimed that fast. Uh, you have a really hard time perceiving what's really in front of you. No, I was happy to have gotten that face. I, I had lots of fun entertaining myself and entertaining my audience that the face was covered by little girl's panties. I know it was a mask, but it, it looked like little girl's panties, and, and we had a good laugh about it. I was happy to pay it. In fact, if you ask Shiz, and she's honest, she will tell you that I paid more than I offered. I paid 120 She uh, uh, She picked it up right away because she needed money, and I... I offered her money uh, by whatever means she wanted it. She chose Cap App, and wouldn't you know it, the $120 Cash App receipt is still there if I need to prove it like I had to prove at the beginning of this video, the text exchange. <clears throat> uh, where are we? Uh, well, fairy. Don't get it, uh, Bandit. Uh, Joey Simpson says, shout out to Shiz getting that money and EM. Uh, E-M, money, and M. I didn't give her any M's, but I gave her money. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I come through as I always do with my financial offers. Um, yeah, <laughs> money and M. I don't get the M. Okay, Lupe says, you mad about the money you offered typical cheap-ass man. Ha, <laughs> Oh, isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? I'm pretty sure she was commenting on my sweepstakes where I gave away $500. And then at the end of the sweepstakes, I gave away another $200 that wasn't part of the original $500. But I'm a cheap-ass man. Yeah. That's why Josh got so butthurt when, his, uh, when he became Jeffrey's bitch and he lost me as a donor. Um, Lupe then says, shout out to... Claiming face reveal rewards an M. M? 
What's with the EMs, guys? <laughs> E-M-M. <clears throat> All right. Lupe says, you care, Fink. <laughs> I care. I care. I do. There's no one as ugly and stupid and fat as you. Except maybe she just happens. But I want you to know I care. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what I care about. But, uh, oh, I think she's talking about me not giving a fuck whether gender specific or Josh or Jerry uh, talk about me. Uh, quite frankly, they don't that much, only in passing, because they know if they go at it with me, they lose. Uh, do I care? Uh, define care. All right. Lupe then says, so someone shuts the fuck up about you and you start talking about M. M. M is an abbreviation for them. Are oh, you kids in your fucking YouTube talk. Uh, and you start talking about M again. Attention horse says what? Oh, let me go over it one more time. Attention horse says what? In response to something that happened in July, on October 18th, the attention horse said, and I quote, I'd love proof of that. Thank you. And what she's talking about is somebody else, not me, commenting on what happened in July when, when she wanted me on uh, on one of her, uh, on one of her panels in Discord and one of her panels in YouTube, um, uh, that was the 18th. It was an hour and a half later that I was talking about it. Um, but I'm the attention whore uh, again. Yesterday at 9:35 a.m., Shiz happens texted me on this subject. The previous text on that subject between us and the only previous text between us since then was at 10.48 p.m. on July 20th when she wanted me to join her, what they call it, an ambush panel. Yeah, uh, but I'm, I'm the one who can't get over it. I'm the one who can't stop talking about it. Hey, it's the 19th. It's only been a day and a half. All right, moving on again. And Bennett tells Stupe to shut the fuck up, loser. Well, you're right, she's a loser, but let her talk, let her talk, because that is the entertainment, is when dumb bitches like that talk. Like when dumb bitches text me out of the clear blue. Is uh, That's the fun part. Uh, if none of this happened, we would just be watching me take the camera around and people reacting to the camera. That gets boring after a while. And Joey Simpson says, GAY! Yeah. That was old six months ago. Gay! Everyone yelling out, Gay! Uh, when one of the hosts is, is gay. He seems to be okay with everyone dunking on homosexuality, but quite honestly, I think he yelling out, Gay is gay! Anyway, Lupe says, Look at you hunting down the attention, Fink. Adorable. <laughs> well, okay. I'm going to tell you when I tell the people to react to my camera. If you uh, if you think I'm out to get a reaction, the dumbest thing on the planet for you to do is react. And look at you with the comment, hunting down the attention, think adorable. I'm getting the reaction. Yay me. I cast a line out. I reeled it in. You bit. Hook, line, and sinker. You gave me attention. If you wanted this to be a flop, you should have ignored it. But you can't, because you're addicted to the drama. And Bandit says, Joey, I always knew you were... I don't know. What is Joey? Okay, and Chino Nino says, Shout out to the offering prizes in a raffle, then reneging on the same prize to the winner. The fuck are you talking about? The winner of the $500 sweepstakes was a uh, uh, hot mess summer. She does a... A thing on Wednesdays where she goes out and she helps people. She got the most votes. She won the prize. She came up on the live where I announced the prize. She claimed her prize and she confirmed that she got it. If that's what you're talking about. If you're talking about the $100 prize for showing me uh, even Vegas Vips covered face, uh, uh, she has happens got her prize with a 20% tip because she's a... <laughs> A lonely, bored, broke housewife, not housewife, a, a single mom. Ah, shut the fuck up. It got my heartstrings. I paid her. 
Who who the fuck did I renege on? Are you talking about one of these other characters in the chat? I don't know. I've never made a financial offer that I reneged on. Uh, so Chino Nino, once again, yeah, looks stupid. Uh, and then Lupe says, shout out to fifty dollars an M. An M. Learn how to speak. And the, even if if you're saying them, that's not even proper English. Shout out to fifty dollars. Uh, I don't know which $50 you're talking about, but yeah, I've, I've made $50 Super Chats. It was stupid. Uh, YouTube gets, I think, 27 29%. And Uncle Sam, uh, on the receiving end, Uncle Sam takes his, what, 20 25%. And I'm getting texted from, and uh, let me see. Uh, oh, cool. Uh, Drunken Joshi is live right now. I don't know if he's drunk or not, but he's live right now. Fuck it, I don't care. Where were we? Uh, uh, $50. Uh, shout out to 50 I don't, yeah, okay, shout, yeah, I'm, I'm generous. I'm stupidly generous. I love the nervous inserted laugh, so boomer. So with a capital S, boomer. Uh, I guess she's talking about me when I laugh on this video that she's commenting on when nobody's in the car with me and don't even know if I'm going to release it and she thinks it's a nervous laugh. Once again, her ignorance shows or deflection. She's nervous because, you know, people are getting embarrassed and she doesn't want them to be embarrassed and so she's nervous. So she projects that, deflects it. I don't know what the psych... Ask Tony. Tony would know the psychological term is that, but uh, uh, yeah. No, okay. And Bannis says, mm hmm, stoopy. We understand you have a Boob tube PhD. <laughs> a doctorate in uh, YouTube. Okay. And Scottle says, I see you, Gorg. I don't know what Scottle means by that, but uh, he adds to what looked like pizzas. And Lupe says, You know what happens when you assume, think? Why, yes, I do. What have I assumed there, ass? that I've apparently made an ass out of you and me. I have control over whether I make an ass out of me or not, but apparently I made an ass out of you too. I don't know what she's talking about there, but I think, if I remember correctly, maybe she thinks that I'm assuming that there hasn't been an entire F3 show on me, and that, uh, yeah, earlier she said I was the content. No, I'm an occasional comment at best. Uh, because they know better. They know, and us, uh, well, shit. <laughs> yeah, Scotto knows. All right, moving on. And Bennett says, somebody doesn't work. She don't work. I don't know who doesn't work. Lupe is apparently a nurse, and shit happens is apparently some kind of a journalist. Uh, I don't know. Uh, don't know who you mean she don't work. Oh, you mean uh, generally specific don't work. Um, I've heard rumors from Chris that maybe he got a job at that jail? I don't know. Uh, but if that's the she you means, uh, I don't know. Christine, Sarge, Hart, long time no see. How you doing, Christine? Good to see you. And Muxer is in the house at Chai. Uh, hello, Muxer. Oh, we've talked since then. What am I talking about? And Michael Wyatt's fiance about Wyatt. Scuttle, hello, booby. Uh, and Muxer asked, what prize? I wasn't sure what prize either, but I think they were talking about the $500 prize that I actually paid out more. Uh, the winner was $500, and I had some unannounced previously runners up. And Bannis says, Muck, and Christine says, Muxer with a heart. And Lupe says, Ted with a, what is that, a bloody tampon? I can't tell. And Vegas Vip says, Muxer, Stone Vet praised Fraud Wrangler for ending DAC. And yes, Muxer texted me about that, and uh, we had a, a brief discussion about that. Uh, very, very sad to see uh, see a combat veteran uh, go downhill like this in his alcoholism and his drug addiction. All right, Vegas Vips, I'm not joking about this. We now know that you aren't joking. He did say it. It's not just been confirmed by you recording it. Uh, others have come forward and confirmed it too. Uh, Bandit says, who in the right mind would go to that creep echo chamber? Uh, sorry to say, Bandit, uh, if you're talking about the F3, I, ha I, I used to hang out there all the time. Uh, I used to hang up there all the time until Jeffrey got his knickers in a twist. And, uh, 
I uh, figured, uh, why keep bothering Jeffrey? Because, you know, he, he's a pansy, and Josh is his bitch, and why offend these people by keep going over there? I went over there a few times after Jeffrey got his knickers in a twist, and they obviously, you know, they weren't interested in my hanging out there. So I have moved on. Um, and Vegas Vips from Muxer, it, I need to see that clip. And since then, we have indeed seen it. I think we're getting near the end, maybe one or two more scrolls. And I do believe we are at the end of the line. I have scrolled Guadalupe's bloody tampon up to the top. And Jux Muxer says, hi, Christine, good to see you. Indeed, it's always good to see Christine. Um, uh, and by the way, Christine was there the night that Hot Miss Summer won the $500 prize and came up and claimed her prize and confirmed she received it. So, Chino Nino, fuck off. Uh, Vegas Phipps, Muckster, Stone Vet, Praise, Fraud at Wrangler. We, yeah, we've already been over that. And Vegas Phipps, I am, not, we already been over that. And Bannis says, who in the right mind would go to that creep echo chamber? I, didn't we already go over that? Maybe I scrolled wrong. Uh, Vegas Phipps, I need to see that clip. Okay, this is where I left off on the last, sh okay. Uh, I have it, Vegas Phipps, I have it. And he does, he does indeed have it. And now Muxer has it, and Finkel has it, and several others have it. Uh, but it doesn't matter. He's drunk, he's going downhill, he needs help. We can't help him. And Spider Dog, <laughs> the most leg humping spider in the universe. Are you a seven year old girl? I don't know who you are asking, but uh, Spider Dog is always looking for seven year old girls. He's one of those uh, PDF files. Ah, uh, shame on you, ma'am. Hey, Spider Dog, go for women your own age, approximately. You know, give or take a few years. I had just a mux, uh, just a muxter, <laughs> just a muxter says, did you post it? Uh, he's talking about Vegas Phipps. Yeah, yes, go to my community page, Vegas says, and we did. And Lupe says, email you? I thought you didn't care, laugh out loud. I'm not sure what that is in reference to. Um, uh... Oh, uh, maybe I commented that the emails I used to get that F3 is talking about you, uh, General Specific's talking about you, Kaiser's talking about you, uh, they aren't coming in, so that's how I know they aren't talking about me. Uh, Spider Dog, I thought you had disappeared and suddenly poof. Finkel's crying again. Thought I disappeared. Scroll through my videos on what day have I not been active. Uh, my routine has been. Uh, recording three, four, five short videos, uploading them to be time released daily, almost daily for the last two weeks and for the next week or so. Something is in the queue to be released. Uh, but I'm crying again. <laughs> I'm crying because there's so many clowns out there. And Mr. Carey, I mentioned you, Muckster. I at mentioned you. Oh, well, you just, just, well, no, you at mentioned, at mentioned. You didn't at mention Muckster. You if someone's in the community known as mentioned, they just got a highlighted uh, chat, but I don't think there is. The at symbol should go in front of Muxer, but you got to have the word just first. Anywho, Spider Dog closes the day with such a fucking potty mouth fucking today, you fucking Finkel. And he spells Finkel wrong. It's F I N K E L. Finkel. Finkel. Uh, and, uh, yeah, uh,. I don't give a fuck if you don't like my fucking language. If you don't like my fucking language, go watch uh, uh, Shiz Happen say fuck and shit and piss. And uh, go watch Jeffrey say uh, fuck that. And go watch Jeffrey Specific say fuck off. And go watch Kaiser say I don't give a fuck. You watch all these fuckers. And you're going to cry about my potty mouth. Well, all you motherfuckers, uh, it's been real. It's been fun. It's been real fun. And uh, it is uh, Saturday, the 19th of October. It is 6.25 p.m. And uh, by the way, yes, when I played that clip yesterday of Forrest Gump saying, that's all I'm going to say about that, I fucking lied. Ha ha. Get the fuck over it. Cheerio, motherfuckers.